Are we going to dive in up here? We're diving here. We could dive in here. Every year, he's about Mark. Yeah. Yeah, we got Mark here. Okay. Our learning should be a schus for a foolish name for Brian Lavea, but I this Ariella. I'm so shocked how he is. So. Okay, so he had a little bit of a, a half sick. We're on page Nunvav in Das Hasphiris. We we're talking about the Pratsuf. And again, all of these Trakim are to just familiarize us with basic terms in Pneumia Satara and Sisve how all of the works and the and the <coughs> the um, also the in terms of our Vodas Hashem throughout the Sefer we're going to continue. So we're talking about we're talking about Hashem the the the, Tikun, the world of Tikkun. Just a reminder: in the world of Tohu, Hashem, of course, this is all Hashem's will. This is not an accident, but the very possibility of there being Ra, of there being evil in this world, comes from <coughs> comes from a, a state of existence that Hashem willed into being, where the spheres were not working with each other, were not coordinated with each other, where there's tremendous energy, tremendous powerful light. And each sphere was in, in, in a Mitzvah of Ani Emloch, Chesed, Gur, Teferis. There wasn't a system of, that was coordinated with the spheres working together in different ma'arachos, different kavim, structurally and purposefully. And it's from that, it's from that world of Tohu that, that there's Ra in the world, there's confusion in the world, there's... Uh, but also Bechira and so on. And we're going to talk about the Adam Atoh, the Adam Tikkun. We'll talk a lot about that in Mitzvah Shem. But the world of Tikkun is a world of Pratsufa. That's what we've been learning about the last few weeks. And Pratsufa means when we have structure and design and Hashem willed that there would be uh, that there would be a, um, a way of the, of the spheres that they're functioning, working together together, and HaKosh Baruch was manning the world with these parts of him. And we were talking about the, the parts of, of, of Arach Ampin, the highest Kesser, and Abba, Chachma, Bina Ima, Zer Ampin, Chesky, with the first Netzach, Haiti aside, and then Nukva, Zmalchus, that's what we were talking about. And and uh, the Mechaber was explaining to us on a very, very, very basic level that when it comes to the to understanding the difference between a sphere and how the sphere functions in the context of a part, so, so the 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 example that we were talking about was uh, was was very simple. That the sphere is the the sphere, for instance, of Chesed is 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 that is that energy that koch of of giving of love of light and so on. How that how that or of Chesed. Is is brought down into this world in terms of the hanhaga of this world externally and internally within ourselves. That depends upon the parts of of how that or of chesed is going to is going to um, materialize. This is the way that the, the Ramchal explains this, and we spoke about that. Barichas, um, last time we're up to page nunvav. Beer I have the ben So when the hashpa of chesed comes through Abba, it's different than the hashpa of chesed that, that comes through the parts of Ima, through so that, so that system of Ima. It comes out in a different way. The same way we saw in the Marshall, that the Father's love and the Father's kindness is, is manifested differently than the Mother's love and the Mother's kindness. So even though chesed is the sphere of chesed, is the or of Ahava, but how that shefa of chesed, how that or, that sphere of of Chesed, how that Shefa comes into the world, that depends on the parts of, of whether it's the parts of, of Abba, of Imor, of Zeranpin, of Nukva, and so on. Again, these are the terms, and we'll become much more familiar with how they work in Mitzvah Shem through the course of the Sefer. Bira Hevdal Ben When you have the global ben hanhogis shall call hanhogis shall call partsu. There's a very big difference between the hanhogah 
of each of the partsukim. Kagon avodas atfila, he be parts of zeir anpin. Avalo be parts of arach anpin. Our davening, you remember we were talking about Kriya Siyamsuf and how by Kriya Siyamsuf something very strange happened. Hashem told us, don't daven. Don't daven. By Kriya Siyamsuf, Matis Agalai, Dabro Benizvay, we saw. Hashem Yilachal Mechem Ba'atem Tacharishin. In other words, there was a gili of a certain or that's called Arachan Ben that we've been talking about, Keser. Something higher than than our Tfilas, than <laughs> Our Bechira and our Tfila and our, and our Avaida. So Tfila, davening is not something that's in the world of Arachanpin. Davening is something that really begins lower down, uh, uh, really in the parts of, of, um, of Zeranpin, not the parts of Arachanpin. So he explains. What is that Tfila? He parts of Zeranpin, the lower parts of Arachanpin. Now, whether it's, how is it, what about Chochme and Bino? So we're not going to go into that right now. The Iker Indian of davening of Tfila begins with Chesed Gurur Teferis Natsar Chal Bizo. Udir HaOmek Bezei Yuvan. And to understand this, I'll be Taluchas Adam, just a, to, uh, by way of uh, of our lives. Hine Kasher Adam Medabrim Chavero. When Ruven is talking to Shimon, Kol HaChemei Vin Shein HaMeskav Lifnos El HaGuf VaHaBoso Shal Chavero. When Ruven is talking to Shimon, we everybody knows that he's not talking to the cells He's not talking to the flesh. He's not talking to the clothing. He's talking to the Nisham. He's talking to who Ruvain is. Or he's talking to Ruvain. He's talking to who Shimon is. To the Nisham. Now we know that there are five parts to the Nisham. And the two highest parts of the neshama that are called Chaya and Yechida, those two parts of the neshama are not actually within the person himself. Because of their greatness, these two parts of the neshama that are called Chaya and Yechida are They are hovering above us, beyond us. They're not within us. Chaya and Yechida. Therefore, when Reuven is speaking to Shimon, and they're making this connection through this conversation, he's not, he's not speaking to this reality that transcends Shimon. He's speaking to that part of the Neshama that, that, that Shimon can relate to. He could be speaking to him. He could be speaking to the chelik of nefesh. What would be a conversation? Conversation that's directed towards the nefesh. Something about his health, his pranasa. Ruben is talking to Shimon about 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 the children, about things that are more attached to this world, part of this world. So he's speaking to the nefesh. Ruben is not speaking to the nefesh of Shem. He's not speaking to his body. He's not speaking to his Clothing, and he's not speaking to the to, to that which is higher than than anything that 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 Shimon is conscious of. He's speaking to Shimon on a level of nefesh. He's speaking to his nefesh. So a conversation stop. A conversation about how you doing, what's going on, and so on and so forth. That's nefesh ben nefesh. That's a conversation of nefesh ben nefesh. Now, if he's talking to his friend, the is talking to the Shimon about his feelings, about his emotions. He's digging deeper. They're talking on a level of, of emotions, not just about Mitzias, but feelings. So then it's Ruach for Ruach. Then we have now a, we have a, a, a Ruach is reaching out to Ruach. But as close as we are with each other, and as close as friends might be, or your husband and wife, and so on, there still is that part that's called Chayichida. And he's not speaking to that part. We're not we're not communicating in that on that level of Chayichida. Now, what is the meaning of Chayichida? We'll talk a lot about, but but there's no communication. That's not what's happening. Kevin Shemachmas Gavhusam ain't Shaychus La Acherim Bahem. 
that because of this gavlus, because of this greatness, this transcendence of Chayin Yechida, Ruven can't understand what that is with Shimon. Can Shimon himself, can Ruven himself have a taste of of Chayin Yechida? The answer to that is <coughs> yes. We'll talk about that. But as far as two people communicating on a level of Yechida, that's not happening. So we can understand when it comes to the Pratsufim. The Pratsuf Arach Anpin. So by Kriyas Yamsuf, there was a revelation of that Pratsuf that's called Arach Anpin. Kesar. There was that Gilui of Arach Anpin. Shua Kesar Elyon. Kemat ve'en yecholis lodon les asik les chabim mokam nala gavoa kol kach. He says the word kemat. Again, well, there is something, we'll, but not to admit it now. But it's kemat not shy for a person to really have an asik or to have a connection or an understanding of what's happening when when there's a revelation of that madrega of keser of arachanpin. We were talking a lot last year about 49 Sharei Bina and the Chasrei Ma'at Melikim and there's this 50th Shara, this 50th gate. There's a certain madrega that's simply transcendent. So, what, where does the conversation take place between man and God? The answer is not in the world of Archon, but not in the world of Kesar. That's when Hashem is, is in the driver's seat, in the wheel. That's not a place of our Bechira, of how my actions affect creation. My actions, our actions affect everything in creation from a lower Madrega, but not in that, in that, in that Madrega when there's that. That madrig of Arach Anpin of Kesser is something which is higher than than my my words, my davening. It's higher than anything I'm conscious of. It's higher than anything that I do. It's higher than so it could be that that I've been doing all kinds of crazy, terrible things, and nevertheless Hashem's will that's revealed through that madrig of Arach Anpin is not affected by that. Hashem made it in such a way. That the Ikah Mokum Shabodam Yochalus Chabrila Shpia de Maisa, Zamokum Nomuch Yose. The place where a person can be mischaber, can connect to, and can speak to, and, and, and affects, and so on, it's a lower madrega. Shu parts of Zer Anpin, Yose, Shu parts of Zer Anpin. Shemavate is Hanhogis Ha Mishpat. There's Klal and Yoni Hanhogis Elamazer, but the Ikah Hanhogis of Elamazer. Is Chesed Gvur Tiferes and so on, not Keser, not Chochma Bina. That's we're, we're going to talk about Keser and, and Moichin, that level of Moichin. When we get to when we get to the next, the next parrot. but the, the the playing field, the Iker playing field of, a, of, a, of a, that we have in this world, and this dialogue Kivyachu with Hashem and interaction with Hashem is more on the is on the Madrega, the lower Madregas of uh, of. Of Zayantin, not 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 by the, the Madrega of of, um, of uh, Arachatin. Vehinei Chameshes Apratzufim, Chameshes Apratzufim. But he said, by the way, that last sentence, and Hagis Amishpat. We spoke about that a little bit earlier. That's the language of the Ramchal. And Hagis Ayichud means that Hashem has a certain Indian in this world that we don't understand. And ha- and that's called an hagas hayichud, and and that's something which is beyond our comprehension, and Hashem is bringing the world towards its ultimate destiny in ways that we can't understand. Very often, seem, things seem to be the opposite of what we would expect. An hagas hamishpat is our is the world that we function in. It's an hagas hamishpat, shochar halacha, mida connected mida, then davening, and so on. That's that's an hagas hamishpat. The way Hashem runs the world, that's the Ikka and Hagen that we have to be concerned with, that we think about. And Hashem has this on Hagen Sayyichud, that's something that, 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 that's beyond our understanding. That's already Arachanpin, that's already Keser, that's something else. Vini Chamesh is a Pratsufim, Ramuzim B'Shem Havaya. These five Pratsufim are, are hinted at in the name of Hashem, Yud Kei the Kutsu Shal Yud, the Spitzel on the on the Yud of the Yud Kevavke, the, the that little 
that little piece uh, on the yud, the kutsur shal yud, that's called the kutsur shal yud, that's, that's connected parts of arachan. That's connected, that's the parts of arachan. Keser. That corresponds to the, to the crown, the keser, the kutsur shal yud. In other words, not even the letter itself, because it's something which is beyond. It's the kutsur shal yud. They don't have a hasaga of that part of, of that of that part of the sphere. Okay. Yeah. Yes. Um, yeah. Is that part of the sphere? The sphere is within the world of Arachanpin. That's kutsu shal yud. Yud, the actual yud, is connected parts of Abba, Chachma. The yud is Abba, is Chachma. Shu ascholos agiwi me or hakesa, which is the first light that becomes revealed. As it descends through Kesar through the crown. That's the letter, that's the letter Yud. He is connected parts of Ima, Bina. Shima Kabbalas is Ashwa. He is the letter that receives. He is the feminine Bina that receives from the Yud. The Ashwa. Umaschila Livnos is Abekalam Shema. And in, in that part of Avina, this Shefa that came through Keser, through Arachanpin and Abba, through Bina, there begins to be uh, a Binyan, and that's why Bina is from the word Binyan, with nose. As Zebba Kalim Shlo, within the Kalim of Bina, this begins to take, the Shefa begins to take shape and form. Vav is connected parts of Zer Anpin. Vav, the letter Vav in Hashem's name, corresponds to. Chesed before the first Natsachait and Yisov. It's called Zer Anpin. Sheesh Bo Sheshes Hasfiris, and the Vav is six, which are the six spheres of Chagas Chesed before the first Natsachait and Yisov. And Chayin Hu Romus Boys Vav, and that's hinted at in the letter Vav of Hashem's name. And the last Hay, the Hay Tato, the last Hay, is connected parts of Nukva. That corresponds to the parts of Nukva, the Keva, of the feminine, which is Malchus, Shehi Haos Ha'achrona, which is the last letter of Hashem's name. Shema Kabelos is called Hashpa, that receives all of the Hashpa that began from Keser, that came down through through Abba and Ima, and the Midos, mother and father, Chach Mabina, and the Midos of Chesed Ruth, verse Natsach Ha'idiyasai. And Malchus is then is that how this becomes translated into our lives and to what happens in the world. The five parts of the Neshama are Nefesh, Ruch, Neshama, Chayin, Yechida. And this is already, this is already alluded to in Chazal themselves. Chamisha Shemos Nikrula where the Medrash says that the Nisham has five names. Nefesh, Ruach, Neshama, Yechida, and Chaya. Nefesh is a Hadam. Nefesh is manifested through the physi- physiological, biological metzius of a person. Shenemar, ki Adam hua nefesh, the blood. Ki Adam hua nefesh, it says in Pazit. Ruach, shehi oila v'yeredes, the Ruach which ascends and descends like the wind. Shenemar mi yodei ruach b'nei ha'adam ha'ole hi l'mala that's ruach neshama ze ha'ofia dibriyasa armin ha'ofisa tava this is what the, the Medrash says the, the Medrash says that neshama so ruach is ruach b'nei ha'adam oile yeredes the neshama ze ha'ofia dibriyasa armin ha'ofisa tava which means that the brios brios means people say that that this is something that the this is something that the ofi, meaning it's the character, it's the essence that that is something we can't understand. This is what the measure says, but it's good that we don't understand it. Chaya shakol evar mesim vi chaya baguf that even when the entire body dies, when the body is finished, chaya continues to live. Yechida shakol evarim. Shakol ha shakol ha varim mishnayim shnayim be yechida beguf and yechida is all the other things everything in the body is in two and yechida is alone is singular is yechida beguf. It's a very 
difficult medrash. Again, but this, this is just a makar of where the words come from, the five chalokim of the soul. So the Vilna Gaon explains, that in the bracha that we say every morning, that we're thanking Hashem for the neshama that he has given us, we see that the Goyen explains that it contains within it uh, our gratitude, our thanking Hashem for the five parts of the neshama. And the Goyen explains that in the Nusuch of Elokai Neshama, the Barasa, Yitzarta, and the fact the Goyen explains. And the Masha and his Kedusha Gottes on Brachas writes, Mizelish from these are the words of the Masha. Elokai Neshama, Atta Barasa be, Vaatta, next page, Yitzarta be, right? You created, you formed, the fact to be, you infused within me, the Chule. And the Shama Belishna the Cross of the Masha explains that and the Shama Belishna the Cross called Chelke Hanefesh. The word Nishama, when it's found in Tanakh, contains within it or includes within it five different parts. Kol Chelke Hanefesh, Shem Shloisha, Nefesh, Ruach, Nishama. The three Chalakim of the Nefesh that are within the person are Nefesh, Ruach, and Nishama. As we find by the Makubalim and the Philosophim also, philosophers, So the Masha explains, So when we say in the Brach of Elokai Neshama, it's talking about the Nefesh, Nefesh Hativis. That is again, the, which, is, which is the the part of us that's most connected to our bodies and that's uh, that's most accessible is the nefesh. <coughs> so at the barasa is all the nefesh ativis. Shnemar v'yivul kimes adam. At the barasa v'at yatsarta bi is al ruach hachiyuni. That's on the ruach of man. Again, more connected to the emotions, the feelings, and so on. That's al ruach hachiyuni. Shnemar bo regarding that it says in pasuk. By, by creation, Vayitzer Hashem Elokim Es Adam. So it says Vayivr Elokim. That's Atta Barasa. That's talking about Nefesh. Atta Yitzarta B. That's going on the Pesach of Brachas Vayitzer Hashem Elokim Es Adam, and that's referring to the Ruach. Vata Nefachta B. Is Ahlan Hashem Hasechlus. Man's ability to reason, to think, to have thoughts of Elokus, and so on. That's with the words atonafachta be. You you blew it into me. You infused it into me. That's the neshama hasichlis. Kamosh Kosov, as it says also by man's creation, vayipach ba'apav nishmas chayim. That's the pshat in the bracha that we say in the kind of That's how the Goyen, the Vilna Goyen and the Masha explain the pshat in the bracha. In general, by the time we finish the Mitzvah Shem the Sefer, many 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 parts of davening are going to be com- understood completely. Differently, because all of davening are these codes. Everything in davening is encoded. Every time we use Hashem's name in davening, how it's used, the letters that are being used, uh, and, and even the nekudas of those letters, and which names of Hashem, and and uh, certain keywords, code words that are referring to the different spheres and the parts of them. And all of davening is is this code. It's the language <laughs> of of Pnei All of davening. And we'll, we'll, we're just getting an example now. This is an example by Elkai Neshama. So Elkai Neshama is really the five parts of the Neshama. Chayin Kosov Arizal. So that, that's Nefesh Ruach and Neshama. Chayin Chidar are alluded to as well. But 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 it's Atta, Barasa, Yitzarta, Nefachta is Nefesh Ruach and Neshama. Chayin Kosov Arizal, Arizal writes this, um, in the same way that with every person there is the chitzonius of the person the external, that's his guf, his body and 
and there's the inner part of the person, which is the Shazan Neshama, she mafila es haguf, kol chameshes chelkeha, and through the five parts of the Neshama, the three that are within the guf and the two that are that transcend the guf, everything that takes place in our lives uh, is is uh, is conducted. Everything in our lives is through that, and that's the and that that is the if you look at Ches, that's the Gemara Brachas and Daf Yud. Shnei Sham it says it says there in the Gemara Shiesh, Chamisha Bechinas Baneshama. The Gemara says that there are five Bechinas. There are five levels of soul. And the Gemara ties it to the Hani Chamisha Barchi Nafshi Keneged Mi Arman David. In the capital Barchi Nafshi is Hashem. There are five times uh, there are five times Barchi Nafshi. And the Gemara asks who is, what is David Amalek referring to with each of these? La Arman El Keneged HaKadosh Baruch Hu Hu Keneged Neshama Ma HaKadosh Baruch Hu Kol HaOlam Just as Hashem fills the whole world Af Neshama Malaya Es Kol HaGuf So too the neshama fills the body. Makadosh Baruch Hu Nira, just as Hashem sees everything but is invisible, is unseen. Af neshama Roaveno Nira, so too the neshama sees, but the neshama cannot be seen. Makadosh Baruch Hu Zan Es Kol just as Hashem feeds and takes care of the entire world. Af neshama Zana Es Kol so too the neshama is is Zana Es Kol It it nourishes, it takes care, it feeds the entire group. Makadosh Baruch Hu Tahar, just as Akadosh Baruch Hu is pure, Af Neshama Tahar. Makadosh Baruch Hu Yoshe Bechadri Chadarim, just as Akadosh Baruch Hu is the most hidden, is hidden, is Bechadri Chadarim, is concealed and hidden with a room, within a room, as Akadosh Baruch Hu is concealed and hidden. Af Neshama Yoshev is Bechadri Chadarim. So too the Neshama is Bechadri Chadarim is hidden. Yov Amishi Yesh Bechamishi Dvarim Halalu, so when Dawud Malch would say those words, Barchi Nafshi is Hashem, so the Gemara explains, Yovo Mishi Yeshba Chamisha Dvarim Halo, let the human being who has these five parts to, of his soul, let him come and to give praise to Kadesh Baruch Hu, who is compared in these five ways to, to, uh, to the Nisham of a person, to the Nefesh of a person. Yishabeach the Mishi Yeshba Chamisha Dvarim Halo. So there, Rabbi Zakal Chaver has in his parish on the Haggadah, in the Echad Miyodeya, that's how he talks about Chamisha Miyodeya. And he writes over there, Vine Shlosha Chalukim Sheben Neshama Nefesh Ruch Neshama Chayichida. Because this is something that we have that a non Jew does not have. Again, what's the level of that spiritual, emotional existence of a non Jew? We'll talk about more later on. But only a Jew has this system. Of nefesh ruach neshama mechai, only a Jew has nefesh ruach neshama mechai yichida. And we were zeichet to that mitzvah kabbalas a Torah. So chamisha miyodeya is chamisha chum shei Torah, and the and Rabbi Yisachar says that the chamisha chum shei Torah is alluding to the five parts of the soul. Achen him hey bechinos benefesh neged chamisha chum shei Torah. Umar shekasa bemedrash behei l'shana shel chiba chiba mekash baruch is Yisrael. So the Medrash says that there are five ways that Hashem has expressed his affection, his love for the Jewish people with these words, Dveka, Chafetza, Chasheka, Ahave, and Dibur, which correspond to Nefesh, Ruach, Neshama, Chai, Nechida. Shemitzad Zeh, Him Bonam Lakash Baruchu, Umashik Omru, Chavivin Yisrael, Shaniku Bonam Lamakam. And we are the only ones who have this system of the five parts of the soul. Because we're Hashem's children, and Bon Lamakim have this who receive the Torah, and the Chamishi Chumshet Torah correspond to these five parts of the Neshama. Hakanta. I would ask you if you have any questions, but there are a million questions. <laughs> not, are there any questions? It's all a question. I mean, it's not. It's not so much an Indian here of of arguing or uh, of of 
trying to figure out. It's, again, labeling and just hearing and getting some of the terms and becoming familiar with them. So too, with every partsuf, there is an external expression of the partsuf, the anhoge of that partsuf, externally, and there's the and there's the nefesh ruach shamachayichida of the partsuf as well. Yeah, we'll talk about that. That's coming up in the next parrot. So Amchal writes that the neshom of a person is divided into five bechinas. The crows nefesh ruach neshom chayichida. Ruboos michameshes haparzufim that come from the five parzufim. Nefesh is from nukva. Ruach is mizer anpin. Neshama is ima. Chaya is Abba, and Yechida is Arach So with the Pratsufim, there's the Nefesh Ruch, Neshom Chai Yechida. And the Nefesh Ruch, Neshom Chai Yechida are, are, are coming, Bo'os Michameshes HaPratsufim, the five Pratsufim are the five Chelke HaNefesh. Just to remember, it's important, Nefesh is Nukva, the lower part, <laughs> Ruach is there, Anpin, the Shama is Ima, Chaya is Abba, and Yechida is Arachantin. Well, let's read the Varv, page Nuntes. Yod say, Shekasha Yesh and Hagya shall parts of Abba. When there's a Hanhaga, when something takes place in, in our lives, in the person's life, in the world, through that Hanhaga that's called Abba, through the parts of Abba, that system of Abba, when that happens, Hapnimi Shon Hagya Zu, Vahainu Haneshama. Then the pnimius of that hanhaga, whatever that hanhaga is, whatever's happening, but the pnimius of that hanhaga of the parts of Abba is taking place through the madreg of the neshama that's called chayim. Shabachelke and neshama, because Abba corresponds to chayim. Vezel seder is partus of partsufim, can I get chelke and neshama? Parts of arach anpin is yechida. Parts of Abba, parts of Abba, when the parts of Abba is revealed, so then the Pneumius of that Hanhaga is taking place through the Madrega of the Neshama that's called Chaya. And all this, again, we're going to see how this works out in the psychology of a person, in the life of a person, and Hanhaga of the world. Gimel, parts of Ima, is Neshama. Parts of Zer Anpin, is Ruach, and parts of Nukva is Nefesh. Bez Hashem, but Mamorim Haboim, in the future Prokim, when they're going to be Mamorim about each of these parts of and each of these spheres, is Bor Ketz that Yeh Shaykh has been Pneumius and Hagesh La parts of, find on the Shamash Every part of has its Neshama. The Neshama of the parts of, the Neshama of the parts of Abba is, is, is Chai and so on. So we're going to learn to understand the the shaykh is between the pnimius of the hanhag of the parts of and the neshama shabbat, the ben hagilu shabbat, how that parts of is revealed in the person's life and in the hanhag of how the world is run. So just the sikum, shlosh is chalke hasfiris, parts of from the neshama shabbat, a summary, v'yot se'im keng. The person should try to know these things by heart and it should be, the, 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 the uh, label should be clear in a person's mind. Aleph. So Yotze I im can she shlosha me madam the gilui hanhogis Hashem's wa bachal parts of Elohim. There are three dimensions to how Hashem's hanhog is revealed in each parts of Aleph. Sviras Keser is the parts of, of that's called Arch Anpin, and the Neshama of that parts of is the Khalik of the Neshama that's called Yechida. Base. Sviras Chachma. The Svira itself is called Chachma. When that sphere is being manifested through through a, a, the parts of is the parts of, of Abba, and the neshama of that parts of, of Abba is Chaya. Spheres Bina. When it's being manifested through the parts of, it's the parts of, of Ima, 
and the neshama of that part of Rav Ima is called neshama, is the neshama. Dalad, the six spheres of Chesed, Gvur, Teferis, Netzach, Hayt Yisoy, that's the part of Zer Anpin, which is Ruach, which is the part of the neshama that's called Ruach. The, in other words, the neshama of that part of is Ruach. Hey, Sphiris Malchus is the part of that's Nukva, and the neshama of that part of Nukva is called Nefesh. Uba Mamarm Haboim is Bor Bez Hashem, Ketzel Bechol Parts of Yesh Kesher Veshaychus, on Hagib and Shloisha Sachalok. We're going to learn how, the, how the, to understand the connection between each part of and that particular Anhaga of the regarding these three areas. How is that parts of what is the Anhaga of that parts of as far as the sphere of Chesed is concerned and Gvura and so on? And uh, through the, the sphere to understand the Anhaga of Hashem through these dimensions of spheres and the Parsufim and the Neshama of the parts of how everything that happens in the world and happens within us and so on takes place on these by these three dimensions of sphere, parts of and Neshama. Okay, now we're going to continue with Shem with next week is the different uh, Shemus of Hashem or the Shem of UK Vavke or the different ways that the Shem UK Vavke can be spelled and how those different and how those different Miluyim or how the name not spelled but how they're filled the name correspond to the different the different spheres and the different parts of them. Okay. Is that Marfia? Yeah. This is this is the same. Mm-hmm. 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 Mm-h